Hi. Osmond is a free offline navigation app for your phone or tablet that uses the OpenStreetMap and OpenSea Map database for maps. With the installation of a plugin, you can also use it on the boat. It allows you to see your location as well as buoys, ports and other useful information when navigating on the water. In this tutorial I'll show you how it can be done in Android, but the application also exists for iPhone. We'll install the app through the F-Droid store, as this is the easiest way to configure everything. With your phone or tablet go to fdroid.org and select to download F-Droid. Then open and install the app. Once F-Droid is installed, we can look for the application we need. Select to install Osmond and wait for the download to complete. Then confirm to install the application. Now we can open Osmond. Let's start by installing some maps so we can use them to navigate. I recommend to start by installing the World Base Map Detailed and the World Overview Map. Once these are installed we can continue with the installation of nautical maps. Here we can select World Sea Marks, which allows us to see buoys and other useful information. Once this is done, we can also select to see depth information for specific regions. Now let's have a look at the map. We can scroll the screen and zoom into a specific region. Once zoomed in enough, the app will ask us to download the map for that area. When we zoom in further we see that some of the installed information like sea marks is missing from the map. So let's configure Osmond to show the missing information. Click on the little hamburger menu icon to open the configuration. From here we can go to the profiles and enable the boat profile. Now that the profile is enabled, we can activate it. We see now that the buoys have appeared, but the depth has disappeared. We'll enable it later. First let's select the information we want to see in the screen. Go to Settings, Boat and Units of Length, and select your preferred unit. Then in configure screen we can select the data that we're interested in. Speed, GPS info, relative bearing and compass. We can also select the trip recording to see the itinerary at the end of a trip. Next, we'll re-enable the nautical depth contours, and we're ready to go. Thanks to the people at Osmond, OpenStreetMap and OpenSea Map for this wonderful tool. It has helped me to sail safely on some long journeys. As helpful as this tool is, it's important not to get too distracted by the screen. 
and keep an eye out for traffic and other obstacles. I hope you enjoyed the video and have fun navigating.